Hey everybody, so today I have MacBook Pro A2289. This is a 2020 model. This is the, the not the redesign, but the newer keyboard that has the scissor switch. It's not the butterfly switch, the little bit of a nicer one. We have it in here for repair because there is a problem with the trackpad. It does work. See that? It does work, but um, you can't really feel like a haptic feedback or you can't really feel a vibration or anything else actually when you click it and sometimes uh, the customer did complain that it does just kind of go all over the place there you can see there's actually a lot of components on here and lots of things can go wrong uh, especially if there's any type of spill or if there's anything else going on sometimes it could just go bad over time we actually seen them just get be defective not only just from liquid sales or anything else but we're just going to be showing you how to do a replacement today so let's just get right into it and uh, show you how to, guys how to do it and there's just a few screws Okay, you just want to kind of get underneath it. Ah, I like that. Ah. Get a little suction cup. These things have clips on each side, so then this will lift up just like that. And then, then you could just go ahead and uh, pull it off, and this comes up just like that. It's pretty straightforward. There's a cable here. Is there's a latch? very easy to damage this cable very easy to uh, especially the latch oh we actually had some, someone before actually they came in and they broke the latch and it wasn't fun to repair for that uh, especially when they don't have that piece they lost the piece too that <laughs> makes it even more fun you don't want to do that um, so that's pretty much the day line there now we want to make sure we remove the plus and minus so this is also important to do so I'm sorry there we go. That's the plus and minus. Now the battery's totally disconnected. And all we're going to be doing is focusing on the trackpad. So the trackpad's here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws, as long as the trackpad cable does go here. So we want to make sure we disconnect the trackpad cable. And if you're ever doing a battery replacement, you want to make sure, and my, recomm rec and my recommendation, you want to make sure that you remove the trackpad too, because it's very easy to damage or get liquid or... However, you're going to remove it to the the battery through the battery to the trackpad connection. So, um, obviously, when you're doing this, you always want to make sure to see if there's a problem with this connection, which doesn't look to be looks very clean. Even this cable looks to be very clean too, at least on this side. Um, that can be something. There's a little bit of I think just like dirt or something on this, but that's not too big of a deal. We're gonna lift this up. It goes all the way. Now we're just gonna be doing each screw here on this side so we'll towel and place before we totally let this one go so it's not going to damage the screen you can put like underneath or you could have done it even before or especially if it's if there's any dirt or liquid or something you want to make sure that you to put like a little bit of a towel under here so it's not going to get on all, all over the screen there and then this is going to go through just like that. And here you go. And you see that all the way up here? There's all the corrosion. How nasty it is. All that blue nasty color. And you see the cable's been a little bit impacted. Um, might as well get another cable too. We can put on. Um, if you're doing just the trackpad, uh, you would have to remove this cable. There's a little bit of adhesive actually on this side of the cable. We can lift this up a little bit. You can feel it. And then what we want to do is we want to take the latch up here. Because there's a latch that goes there. You can just use your fingernail. You see that lifted? And then this will slightly pull out. But it, again, it's still a little bit of adhesive there. If you want to put a little bit of heat, you can do that too. But I'm pretty familiar with this. So I'm just going to lift it a little bit and then pull it out very gently. Then it comes out right there. So there's your sticky under here it's a little bit heast so just for example too so if you're not doing it you can just kind of skip this part but if you're doing it um you need a cable or if you're not sure if you had liquid damage you definitely want to make sure that, that you put in another cable you can do that and it does go in it's going to stick out a little bit but if yours looks like mine that should be okay then you can go ahead and make sure this is bent down make sure you do bend that down because that's how it's making contact but that's how much space you're going to be getting I know we're probably not going to be able to see really anything else, but that's really it. Now we're just going back in reverse, so it's not going to be too difficult. So we're going to be putting this back. Now you just want to put it through this way. You could put the the cable through if you want. 
So uh, what I like to do is I like to hold it and then maybe at least get the top two screws in and then you can do the rest but it's nothing super difficult. Uh, I made another one, another video actually on this. It's uh, it's for the older models. If you have the older ones it's like the same exact thing. I don't think there's any difference on this but I'm just covering this model too. Connect this. Just like that. It should make a little clip noise. Make sure it's all nice. And we want to connect everything first before we connect the battery because we don't want to short anything else. <laughs> or anything, not anything else. Definitely don't want to do that. That's not good. Okay, let me close this. So put this back on. The clip. We should line it up. It should fit. And then I like to lift this up because I don't want to put pressure on the screen. But that, ah, you can get, you can get your clicks in there. It works. Let's see that. And here's our some nice vibration, nice haptic feedback that actually did come back. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on how to replace trackpad on the A2289 2020 13 inch Space Gray MacBook Pro. If you did, please like, really does help us a lot, subscribe for more content. We have lots of repairs on these. We have videos on this one uh, also for like other models too. If you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Um, if you have that one in, instead, it's pretty much the same process though. It's very similar. But hope you guys are watching. See you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.